Hey gents, today we are taking a look at Italic and this video is long overdue because you guys started asking me about this company over a year ago and in the time that I ordered this cashmere sweater and back in the fall and then planned to do this video, this company has completely changed their business model and they launched a pair of white sneakers which is really what was like, all right, this is the thing that's finally going to do it for me. Italic is very interesting. They're trying to essentially take the Costco model of clothing and I would say textiles, including bedding. And instead of them offering, you know, clothes at a markup and then free shipping and, you know, all the usual perks that we have come to know and love, I should grab the knife. You sign up for the membership, which is $100 for a year and they sell everything to you at cost. So that in theory, you could come out way ahead if you're getting a pair of sneakers for $75 versus the Koyos that we talk about for 250 and Italic blatantly says which company they use the same manufacturers for and compare it to another company like Koyo or Common Projects, which is crazy. And so my interest was peaked back when they were offering really low cost, high quality goods like this cashmere sweater. I think I paid something like just over $100 for it. But now in their new model, you pay the $100 membership fee, and then this cashmere comes down to like 60 or $70, which is a good deal for this cashmere. I mean, I could talk about a little bit about this in a minute, but I know you're interested in the sneakers. What you ultimately wanna come out at head on is over the year, right? But if you're getting a pair of minimalist white sneakers for $75, and then you're paying the $100 membership fee, you could essentially break even at this. If if they stand up to that. Because what I will say, and because these videos aren't sponsored or anything like that, is even though they use the same manufacturer as another luxurious uh, company, the differentiator that these companies have is their design and the raw materials. So while you can use the same manufacturer all day, if you're not using the great quality materials that these companies use, that's where it can come into play. So, Let's take a look at the sneakers, and I'll tell you where they fit into in the group of, you know, I, I got them all. I've, I've tried them all, I have them all, and uh, they look like all my minimalist sneakers. Let's see the leather here. Interesting. I could have, I had, I have enough white ones, but I get the idea uh, with the white versus there. They just say made for italic. This reminds me a lot of the um, Wolf and Shepherd. Sole. I mean, clearly it's not Margam. What is the BF? I gotta look into this a little bit. The density, Margam isn't the end all be all. The leather though, that's what can really make or break these. This reminds me of the Undandy sneakers. And I think those come in around 150 or so. Let's get them on the foot and see how they feel and give them uh, a little wear test. Let me see right here. Cool. Before we jump into the sneakers, let's talk a little bit about the cashmere. I just went and did a quick fact check. So I paid $95 for the cashmere back in the fall, and then I paid $15 on top of that for shipping for a total of 110. And this is back when, in order to get access to Italic, you had to have uh, approval for membership. I had to apply to be a member, and then I was let in. And now they're in the full membership model where it's $100 for a year. And even at the time, I thought this was a great deal for a cashmere sweater because I'm comparing this to other around $100 cashmere sweaters from companies like Nottam or from Everlane because I've watched over the years as prices from cashmere have fallen probably for global supply chain reasons. Also, they're not as thick as they used to be. Like when you used to t see like a Ralph Lauren cashmere sweater, it was a thick cashmere sweater. The cashmere is getting thinner. They're still using A gray, but they're using like a single ply or two ply versus just a thick cashmere sweater. So it's made cashmere a lot more accessible. If you're talking about a $95 cashmere, which is basically where Nottam sits versus $65, which is where this now sits, that's a great deal. I mean, right there in one item, you're considering about $30 in savings from at least where it used to be, put that applied to the membership, and then you add another item on top of that, I can see how you could quickly get to at least breaking even on the $100 per year, if not more. And then on top of that, I'm looking now at, we need new sheets, we need new like linens and things around the house. And if Italic can really build out a really robust system for textiles and clothing, especially on the women's side, then that becomes super, super intriguing. As for the sneakers, I have a few initial impressions that I would like to be contradicted with some extended use. So let me go through the a few days here and wear test them a little bit, and then I will wrap it up. So let's jump ahead. Several days later. All right, a few days with the sneakers. And 
I'm getting a pretty good sense of these things right out of the box. I just wanna make sure. I would say that comparing these to Koyos or Common Projects is a stretch. Yes, they are well made. Yes, they're sleek. Yes, they're minimalist. The leather is just not as, it's not nearly as nice as Koyo sneakers. The calf skin that Koyo uses is soft and supple and amazing. Common projects, depending on the line that you're getting from, specifically you're talking about the Achilles, this is like, it's close, but it's still a stretch to compare these to $400 shoes. I do think if you're comparing these to other minimalist sneakers that I've personally tried in the $150 to $200 price range, they're an amazing deal. And so that's where I get a little bit irked about some of the companies that compare this stuff to super high-end things because there's a reason it's, it's very expensive. Part of it is brand, but part of it is the raw materials that they're using. But if you want an amazing minimalist sneaker at $75, these are basically impossible to beat. I would say the only other sneaker that's even close to this in price and quality is the Kurt New Republic, but those do not have as nice of a leather, as comfortable as a footbed, or the sole to be as nice as these. The tipping point when I talk about the quality in the sneakers of this space is that $200 price range, and that's where you get a Margum sole, which may or may not be more durable than this, but that's where this stops being competitive. And there's also something about the laces. The laces leave a little bit to be desired. I believe the cost on these is $75. That being said, I don't think the cost on the Koyos is $75. I think it's gonna be more. And that's why they cost $250 plus. So where does that leave us? I have exposure to three of their products. I have the sneakers, the cashmere sweater, and I actually forgot that I picked up one of their wallets very early on. This is a nice wallet but to compare this to a Mont Blanc wallet or something that is of a much higher caliber, it's not so good. Comparing this to other wallets in this price range, amazing deal. You can always smell good leather, it's, it's good leather. So does that make Italic a good deal? And the answer is of course going to be dependent on your purchasing habits, but I would say if it's you and a partner, so like for myself, they have women's clothing, for my wife, they have some home and cookware, and if you need towels and sheets, like. I think this stuff is very nice quality. I do not believe that it's a true luxury quality tier, but if you're comparing this to other products in their price range, then they're amazing deals. And so if over the year you're going to purchase maybe three items, that's when you're gonna to start to break even. And then above that, then you're going to have some real saving. And three items could be a stretch. If you're essentially going to buy two pairs of these sneakers, you know, two different colors, you're gonna spend $75 per pair, 150, and then $100 for membership, 250. You're getting two really good pairs of shoes for less than a pair of Koyos. I would say that's a pretty good trade-off. Layer on top of that, a cashmere sweater and some towels, that's great. I think the real question here is, Will Italic be able to expand their line fast enough in order to keep people for more than a year? Because the way that I look at it, I, was, I would wait a couple of months, I would sign up for the membership, buy all the stuff that I need, and then my spending would probably be good for the while. It, it's like they have amazing t-shirts and they have amazing basics, but do you really buy that much throughout the year and would it be from one company? And I think you watching this channel, I think you're a little bit more exploratory in your brands and you are okay with going to multiple companies to get items, but most guys aren't. Most guys wanna find something that works for them, buy it forever, and that's it. So if Italic is able to expand into like chinos and jeans and socks and everything else, then it might be really good. But as always, I'm a data point of one. I'm super curious to hear your thoughts on this one, guys. Thank you so much for sending it to me back when they were private. I got in as a member because you guys had referred me and then it just took me a while. I ordered and it just took me a while to do the video. But I wanna know, is this something that is of interest to you? Would you be interested in more sites like this? Should I get more product and, and talk about it a little bit more? As always, I'm an open book. I'm the crash test dummy of this sort of stuff and I'd love to hear your comments. If you Also, if you have experience on the products because I only have these three products. If you have other products like their home stuff I'm really curious about, I kind of want to buy the cast iron uh, cook uh, with the Dutch oven thing. Like I love that sort of stuff and it's a really good price. So chime in down below. You can also reach out at any underscore Cavalier on Twitter and Instagram. Love to hear from you guys over there. Until next time, gents, this is the Cavalier. Wait, do my math, 150, 250.